Hi there, welcome to a product installation series where we go over how to install a given plugin and quickly set it up for use. My name is Hakan, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we're going to cover one of the most useful add-ons for those who offer user separate events on their calendar, the user dashboard add-on as you know. This add-on creates a stylish front-end section for users to manage their events and book tickets. So let's dive in. The first thing we need to do is head to webnews.net and log into our account to download the zip file for the add-on we've purchased. Once our add-on is complete, we'll go back to our WordPress site and hover over Plugins, Add New, and install the plugin by dragging the file over to the installation field. Once that's done, we'll click on Activate so that we can get started with the plugin. Head to the Mac Calendar menu to activate the license for our add-on. We'll copy our product activation key from the Webnews user panel and paste it in the activation field to submit. The green check mark indicates that our plugin has been successfully activated. With our add-on uh, installed and activated, we can head to the Mac settings to view all the options available in user dashboard. But for start, we want to create a user dashboard page. For that, we'll copy the shortcut for the user dashboard page and paste it on a new page. You can choose whatever name you want for this page. Let's add the shortcode element for it and paste it. Hit Publish and now our page is added. Let's go back to the Mac settings for user dashboard, select our newly created page as the user dashboard area. Don't forget to hit Save Changes. Now let's head back and see how our user dashboard page looks in action. Here you can see the number of tickets you've booked and the number of events you've submitted. Each dashboard area is dedicated to the user who is logged in to their account. You are able to change your basic info on the profile tab and even change the color. The tickets tab shows which events we've booked already, our status for it, the number of tickets we've booked, our invoice or even the option to cancel the booking. The next tab shows all the events that this user has added to WordPress. You can download the attendees for your event from this section in both C Suite and Excel format. You can delete your event or edit it as well. The next tab is Report which provides you useful info on your ticket sales for each event during a specific period of time and even a detailed breakdown of which payment gateways were used if you had multiple setup or, or payment gateways. For example, this event was only paid for via the Pay Locally option.
Another feature of this add-on is the ability to define users as organizers and speakers. Let's head to the Organizer tab from the Mac menu and edit one of our existing organizers. From the Select User option, we'll assign our user to the organizer so they can customize their own info. Don't forget to hit Update. Now, let's head back to the User Dashboard page and reload it so the New Organizer tab is added to it. Now, you as the organizer can edit the existing information to put yourself and even add more to it with ease. So each organizer can do this on their own without the admin needing, uh, needing to do it uh, on their behalf. As mentioned, this can be done for speakers too. Just edit the speaker and assign a user to them from the selected user option. And that's done. Once we go back to the user dashboard page and refresh, the speaker tab is added to it and it's basically the same as the previous tab. The speaker can add and edit information about him or herself here. If we log out from the user dashboard area, the user will have the ability to log back in from the same page. Now let's head back to the user dashboard settings in Mac to cover some of the remaining options in it. You can choose a date and time format depending on your region. You can even choose which sections can be hidden or made available in the dashboard. There are also some options that ask more quality of life improvements. Another major feature of this add-on affairs is the ability to show or hide the bucking module to only logged in users, which can be tackled in multiple ways. From the bucking settings, we'll navigate to the display bucking section only for logged in users so that our users have to be logged into in order to book any event. This can also be done from, uh, for, for calendar short codes. If we open one of our short codes, we can activate the login, uh, sorry, login to view option so that events are only displayed to log, logged in users for our calendar and guests won't be able to view them um, in that case. If you don't want to apply this restriction on your whole site, you can even do it for just specific events. Let's head over to one of our events and scroll down to the limitation for users. And this is a tab, clearly. Enable the option for it so that this event's booking module is only available to those who have logged in on your site. In this video, we gave a complete tour of the user dashboard add-on. I hope that you found it helpful. So make sure to like the video if you liked it. Leave us a comment on which issue you'd like to see a video made for in the future. And subscribe so you don't miss out on future helpful videos that are uploaded. If you're still having issues, make sure to head over to our support platform and create a ticket there. So, see you in the next video.